And here, there was a, a famous movie that was shot here in this part with this beautiful gate with a bike, which, which is Mission Impossible 5. Yeah. Mission Impossible yeah, 5 with Tom Cruise. With, yeah, with, it was here. Hello everybody, this is your host Nita Basin and I'm in Morocco right now. We Morocco Morocco. As you know that we took the flight from JFK Airport to Paris and from Paris to Casablanca, Morocco. And we picked up the Gate 1 tour company and it was like 7 to 8 days tour. Let me tell you, this tour is going to be one of the best tours, I know that. So let's meet the tour manager Khalid and he will tell us more about this upcoming tour for us. Khalid, it's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet thank you. you so thank you so much thank you, thank you and uh, we are very excited. Tell us where you are going to take us in these seven to eight days. Yes, uh, first, salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Yes, so uh, Morocco is uh, now one of the uh, countries that are uh, most frequent uh, in the world now, especially after COVID. And in this trip, we are going to have uh, uh, mainly the imperial cities, imperial cities of Morocco. Uh, so we are going to start by Rabat, uh, two days in Rabat. We are going to have the sites in Rabat, museums, and also monuments. And then after that, we are going. Uh, Rabat is the capital of Morocco. Right? Yes, that's the capital, political capital of, Mor of Morocco. Uh, it's imperial city and also a Moorish city and world heritage as well. World heritage site. So after Rabat, two days in Rabat, we are going to Meknes, just a site center of Meknes. And then uh, we will proceed to uh, Fez. Fez, which is the oldest city of Morocco. It's also Imperial City, a World Heritage Site. And we are going to have a long, uh, nice, uh, mesmerizing uh, walking tour of the city. And we will explore it all in one day. It will be a long uh, visit, but it will be nice. So two nights also in Fez, and after that we will go to Casablanca. Casablanca, it's the economical uh, city. The like a financial center Like of a financial America, center, yeah. It's yeah. the heart of the economy of Morocco. Mm -hmm. So it's new, but we are going to spend one night there. We we'll enjoy the food, we we'll enjoy the uh, Rex Cafe and so on. And then after that we will go to Marrakesh. Marrakesh is again a uh, famous city uh, in all over the world. And it's imperial city and a Berber city. It's different from the other cities. Yeah, we are going also to spend three nights there. French. The question is about the French city. There was a war between the French and the we, the Moroccans, of course. There was there was a little war, let's say. But the king was obliged, was pushed to sign the contract to say that it's a protectorate. That's why it's not colonization, it's protectorate. Morocco said, by politically it's say, no. to sign uh, the, the, the agree, the king agree, his name is Moulay Hafid. So Kaftan is coming from this. Kaftan is purely Moroccan clothes. So not the Jilaba, Jilaba is a medieval era. And the Kaftan is, is the, the pure Moroccan clothes or Andalusian clothes. Shot a lot of movies here, uh, not only in Rabat but uh, Marrakesh, Sahara, and so on. And here, there was a, a famous movie that was shot here in this part with this beautiful gate with a bike, which is Mission Impossible Five. Yeah. Mission Impossible yeah, Five with Tom Cruise. With, yeah, with, it was here in this part of it, and High Atlas Mountains. Uh, highways as well. Tom Cruise spent one month here uh, to shoot uh, that movie. 
the Berbers who are uh, in, in Morocco, living in Sahara, who came to help a king, his name El Mansour, in 12th century to construct this city, Rabat. And he gave them this castle. This castle, it's like a castle for them to live and also to protect the, the city of Rabat. And the city of Rabat was founded by uh, Al Muwahhad dynasty, a king called Al Mansur, 12th century. So the Moors have a special architecture coming from astronomy, by the way, sacred architecture, came with the Berbers and originally from the Phoenicians. Have you ever heard of the Phoenicians? The Phoenicians they are now what we call Lebanon and Syria, Jordan, and also uh, uh, Israel as well. So this place, the Phoenicians came to Mediterranean Sea, with all North Africa and also uh, Italia, Greece, and so on. They are the ones who wrote architecture, olive trees, and semolina, pasta, in Italy and Morocco, couscous. That's a Phoenician one, okay? So these people, they were very smart, they were very, very uh, intelligent, and architecture was, big. the beginning of Moorish architecture is coming from that, coming from the sacred geometry, what we call now also the arabesque, okay? Floral design, geometrical design, and also calligraphy. Can you see calligraphy on the side of the arch? That's Arabic words, Arabic terms. Can you see them? So it's always about Quran, our Bible, the Muslim Bible, Quran, or poetry, or names of God, because the Muslim believe that there is 99 name of God, the merciful, the graceful, the omnipresent, and so on. All these names, they are okay. only one name, that people, they don't, the great name of God, it's also in the Bible. We don't know it. Only one person who knows it in the history. Who? No. Even Muhammad didn't know. The prophet Solomon. That's why he had the power. He was a king, Solomon, the king, uh, and Solomon, yeah. And also he was uh, uh, also a, uh, he knows, or he knew about the great name of God city of Marrakesh, the city that you are going to see at the end. Three cities built by that king. Why? Because it was an empire, Morocco. The Moors. The Moors uh, want the, of course, the, uh, they went to what we call now uh, Senegal, Ghana, Benin, until Cameroon. Morocco was a big empire that time. And all these tribes, all these uh, 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 ethnics that you were living in Sahara, this were allegiance to the king. So Morocco was a great country, a great empire. That's also what allowed them to go to Spain, Andalusia at that time. And uh, they went to Portugal until the south of France. So that's what gave us the a name called the Stronghold Victory Empire. And the name Rabat is coming from that. Rabat means Ribat, the stronghold. The stronghold, yeah. because that king wanted to make this the biggest city in the world. That time, I'm talking about 12th century. He died, but Marrakesh and Seville was uh, also uh, capitals that time. So three capitals for the empire of the stronghold victory. And Morocco was one of the oldest friends to United States. Have you ever heard of that? It's the first country who recognized United States independence. Yes. I know it's uh, weird for you. Yeah, but uh, in, 19, uh, in 1777, our king, Mohammed III, the third, who sent a letter to George Washington to recognize the United States. Because our navies, Morocco sailors, they were strong. They told, him, uh, they told him that there is a new country and we should allow them to pass to the Mediterranean. 
So the, the Washington, uh, George Washington, of course, asked the king to give him a permission to pass that time. So the king sent him a letter back recognizing the country of the United States. And still that treaty between Morocco and the United States in operation, more than 200 years of history, it is the oldest treaty between the United States and the foreign country in the, uh, the life of the United States. That's why we have a lot of cats and no dogs. It's a, a cultural one. It doesn't have anything about a religion, by the way, because some guidebooks, they write it's about a religion, that the Muslim hates the dogs. It's not true. In the medieval era, the, uh, the cats, we bring the cats in the medieval era. Eighth, nine, 10, 12th century, people bring cats to grow up in the cities like this to look after the sewage eat mice, uh, rats, and so on, okay? And also eat, you know, uh, uh, something in the street to clean, to clean, let's say. And that's why people love the cats. The culture, Moroccans love the cat. Egyptian as well. But whenever you bring your dog, you want to raise it here, they say to you, take back your dog. Don't leave it here. So when you go to the small towns, especially in the coast line, like mid Atlantic or even Mediterranean, or you go to the countryside of Morocco, you will find dogs, shepherds, usually. Shepherds, dogs, that people look after and love them. But in the cities like this, old cities, you never find a dog living inside it. If you go to new city, new city here in Rabat, people do have dogs. But old cities, no, because it's a cultural thing. They don't like that because uh, they, uh, they fight with cats. Okay, that's the origin. It's a cultural, okay? But it's not about religion, it's just about uh, our culture. A fort or fortress, that's a kasba. Kasba means a fort for us. And we have a fort for military reason here. But if you go to the south of Morocco, we have also kasbas as an inn, as an inn for caravans. You know the caravan, you know the merchants used caravans and we went from place to place, okay? And these kasbas were used for animals and also for people, and we, like an inn, what you call in, in the West inn, an inn was a kasbah as well. The best view of Rabat and Saleh. This is Rabat. And in front of you, at the city which is there, that's Saleh. Saleh and Rabat. It's a state. Okay, it's a state. Rabat is a small city. It's not that big. But if you add, Saleh will be the second largest city or largest, uh, second largest uh, state in Morocco after Casablanca. Okay, Saleh has a history of piracy, pirates, Moroccan sailors. All these people, they were from Saleh, and they went to, to America before Columbus. There were also Moors. Okay, I know officially speaking that, that uh, Columbus who, who discovered, but there were also Moors there, or even before the Vikings, also they were there. But the Berbers went to America before, and most of them they were sailors. They came from that city, Saleh. Okay? And this is a kingdom of the sailors, the kingdom of pirates as well. Yeah. And even they invaded sometimes, from time to time, like, uh, uh, like raiders uh, to England. And also they have, have communication with the Vikings, these people. If you see the movie, 
the movie the, or the series of Vikings that they came to North Africa. It was not Algeria, it was here. So all the civilizations like Phoenicians, Vindals, you know the Vindals, the Vindals, and also the uh, uh, Romans, they came and used this place as a port. All right? New project of the marina. You see beautiful marina there. Can you see that? The marina in your right, a mosque in front of you, and also the buildings all along. It's a project by the king who wanted to, of course, to make this city as a capital of culture, but also a resort for Moroccans, because we Moroccans, we love to come in summer to uh, coastal uh, or to a uh, literal uh, city. We love beach, let's say. So it's gonna be all cafe, restaurants, hotels, all along from here to south of Casablanca, a name of city called El Jadida. Okay, it's almost 300 kilometers. All will be like Spain, like the south of Spain. All is small towns, beautiful, the resort, all, all along from Rabat to El Jadida city. 37 million are living here in Morocco, okay? And we are Berbers, there is an amalgamation of people, as I said, <coughs> Berbers, Arab, Moors, and also Tuareg. Tuareg is the dark-skinned people of Sahara. Uh, they are also Berbers, but we call them Tuareg. You know the car Tuareg, the Volkswagen car? They come in, they pick up the name from us. So they should pay us. The Germans, they should pay us because the <laughs> So Tuareg, they are the Berbers, the dark-skinned Berbers from Sahara. So four ethnics, four ethnics in Morocco living uh, in all over Morocco. Rabat is a Moorish city. Rabat is a Moorish, I mean Andalusian Arab city. Uh, and uh, Casablanca is Arab, Marrakesh is a Berber. we see that also later. And this, and this day from 8 to 6 p.m. 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day. They change every one hour and a half, okay? These horses are pure Arabian horse, but we have the barbs also. You will see other places, the barb. And this Arabian horse, thanks to the king, because they protect this uh, beautiful race. And we are the second now farming Arabian horse in the world after Turkey. Turkey, they are the first, but Morocco is gonna beat them. We are going to beat the Turks. We farm a lot. It's a big project for farming the Arabian horse. So, I want you guys to meet our guide, Khalid. Hello. Hello. So, Khalid is showing us the entire Morocco. Right now, he yes. showed us this place, yeah. Kasab. Kasba, yeah, Kasbah. that's the name of it. Yeah. And now, where are we going, Khalid? To the bus. We are going to the bus now. Okay, <laughs> now we're going to the bus and to another place. Thank you. Thank you. Ab Hassan Tower, Joki. Arabat, which is the capital of Morocco, is where we are going.